Hey y'all, so today we're at a place between trailers. This is not a very large land, but um, they look like they have some nice goodies, so I definitely wanted to check it out. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Shy in Second Life, and on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So the heat didn't even give me a chance to do my little heat disclaimer, but yeah, you know, what, what do I say? Uh, when you hear a large gust of wind, that would be the heat coming in. Look how cute this motorbike is. It's not a bike, this uh, motorized chair. Very nice with the, the gold. So I just got done doing my... Um, a shamey video and because I procrastinated so long can I go in here yeah because I procrastinated so long on even doing um, a video just because of the headspace that I've been in that I'm in I felt like okay you got one done let's go ahead and get another one done so this is a land that um, I came across not too long ago I don't think I've had this landmark for a long time and I wanted to check it out. It looked like it was more to it before, but when I just panned out, it looks like it was a lot less. It might've just looked this way the whole time and I just wasn't paying enough attention because sometimes I do get a little um, confused on what's actually um, able to be toured as opposed to what is just like a backdrop. I love this little sink with the little, is that like Irish Springs? So this land, when you pan out, it does kind of look like you're on a little island, and I do like that. I also like the rustic feel that this land has. I have learned um, in Second Life that there are so many different levels to things being aesthetically pleasing. So it's like the, the items here may not be as current or, you know, as new looking, but the way that they put the colors together and just like the added little things like this box of magazines and things like that, for me, it makes it um, aesthetically pleasing. Look at this cat, big stretch, so cute. So I will say that just me um, talking it out with y'all in my last uh, video, my shimmy video, I don't know which video is going to go up first, this one or that one. I don't know. Although there are people that I can talk about, like what I'm going through with, I'm kind of in the space where I want to be able to just like talk and not really get necessarily like feedback but just a uh, listening ear I'll, I'll never mind the feedback but it's real now you know what but i do like being able to just kind of like in you know like talking to myself even though i'm not talking to myself i'm talking with you guys but just kind of like getting it all out of my head you know it does feel good and I kind of feel like when you are sitting in front of somebody or when you're on the phone with somebody sometimes you feel like you can't really express yourself the way that you want to express yourself even when you're talking to people that you know you can express yourself with so I feel like this way I'm able to kind of analyze it better in essence well not in essence literally this is what I do when I'm by myself if it's something that I need to figure out I will literally talk out loud you can say what you want to say it definitely works for me so this is a method that I use very very frequently um day in and day out in my life to just kind of get things out of my head so that I can have a better perspective of it is this is this, the, is this that green y'all it is looking like it on the edge is ridged uh-huh i know what that is so i really like that i can have this as an outlet as well and then also i feel like my thoughts kind of flow freer when i'm doing it this way because i'm not really really honed in on just the words i'm just kind of allowing things to flow and i'm able to just like tour around and look at things while i'm doing this to just kind of distracts me from myself so I'm not thinking too much on it and I'm really just able to just like talk things out so I really do like that this is not something that I thought would make me feel 
better this quickly i thought that i was going to be able to just like talk with you guys and as like a progression of things i would feel better but even after just that first video i do feel better so i do know that talking about it um in this way is also something that helps me as well um yeah not you know i believe i mentioned this in my last video or my the ashimi video but not trying to necessarily like trauma dump but just like getting it out you know um i feel like i enjoy doing these videos but a large part of the touring is me just really like holding regular conversations with y'all and sometimes i'll be going through shit. that's just the nature of the beast of being human and so i feel like if if i don't feel comfortable talking to y'all about stuff that i'm going through then i kind of feel like have i really formed the bond with y'all that i feel like i have and so because i feel like i have formed a really really close bond with y'all where i do feel comfortable talking to y'all about stuff i should be able to do that you know so that's what i'm doing I don't feel no type of way about um, letting y'all in on this part of my life because it is something that I go through from time to time. It's not a pleasant part. Everything in life is not going to be pleasant, but I know that dirty ass fish tank. I know that a lot of the things that I go through are going to be relatable. So unfortunately, um, I wish that it wasn't relatable because I don't want anyone to have to go through these type of things i'm um, dealing with like just bouts of not being happy and kind of just trying to figure out what the hell is going on but tis life you know it's it's never gonna be perfect because you know that would be boring right you know gotta have some challenges along the way to kind of keep you on your toes um i really like this land it has a very very retro feel to it i love the colors again i'm not in the shared environment i do believe that um I came here before and the environment kind of looked like this so I am going to chalk it up to the timing. It's now 4.33 a.m. So I really do think that the time that I'm on um, has a lot to do with the lighting, which I know about this, which I know about this. Uh huh. Y'all know, y'all know, Nan. Um, so the shared environment was, it was dark and see, this is the thing when I come to these lands and the shared environment is dark, I can see, however, I will be paranoid on whether or not, um, the experience is going to be enjoyable, um, through the lands of y'all. Don't ask me why I got these blue ass gym shoes. I said, look, they're going to get worn because I bought them. I got these a minute ago. I thought they were going to go with an outfit and they the hell did not. So if I feel like the land is just too dark, I will alter the lighting. I'm not going to talk about it every video because I just feel like, you know, a lot of times people pick their own environments Um, anyway. I don't know if people use just like the go-to shared environments um in in the firestorm viewer or if they all pick their um environments like differently i used to do like whatever environments um the firestorm viewer had but once i realized that there are so many more um options so many animals out here i love it there's so many more options um outside of the couple of options that they give you i normally am are um, i normally use starly settings in the firestorm viewer that might be a little too bright for some people i saw a cat oh is that a, was that a ferret it was moving oh yeah it was this ferret oh let me back up so i often use um starly settings and it, them look like somebody's don't piss me off um, and it works really, really well. That's one of my favorite lightings. It does make things quite bright, but that's how I want it to be so that I can see everything. However, when I come to a land and it's dark, I will try to mimic that land to the best of my ability. But I'm also very aware that the lighting does play a part with the feeling of the experience. And so if I'm on a land and I feel like the lighting kind of puts me in a 
a, like a down tempoed type emotion I don't know if that's gonna make sense to y'all um I just I'll change the lighting so I'm like okay sunset felt a little dreary that's what I mean like if it's like a dreary type feeling I'll change the lighting to something that I feel is going to be a little bit more joyous feeling or have a little bit more of a joyful feeling to it so like um sunset was I don't know what this is they have lots of cute like little sitting spaces where you can take like pictures and stuff like that and I really do like that um sunset had a very like gloomy type feel to it for me and so I do believe that I'm in sunrise or sun. I'm one one of them had a, a dreary feeling that I didn't like so I changed it um I don't like the videos that have to be like super dark but if they have to be they have to be like this is about as dark as I would be cool with the light and being but you know I'm all about the ambiance of things and so when they have the shared environments and um they're dark I do try to keep it in that realm still just so that it doesn't take away from the aesthetic of the land because they make those environments for a reason and so I like to kind of keep to that so that you can still kind of get the feel of the land um, even if the lighting is like um, a brighter option is there something what's in here so they have these little trailer homes and I like that some of them are faux trailer homes and then some of them are not faux trailer homes. So you kind of get a surprise when you come across a trailer home that's not a faux trailer home. Look at that peeled orange. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to do my house tour because I'm pretty sure I'm not changing shit. Like I'm pretty sure that the way that the, the house is right now, that's just how it's going to be. I just kind of got to pick a time to um do a house tour because i'm definitely not anticipating changing anything on um the land i feel like yeah what it is is what it's gonna be it took me long enough right it took me a, a nice amount of time but in my defense i was not working on the house the entire time um I took a lot of breaks and that's the reason why when people like decorate houses as like a profession in second life I definitely take my hat off to them because I'll be taking my time they will fire me and talk all types of shit about me on social media um if I was doing this as a profession in second life that's the reason why I would never because I'm never about to play with nobody time like that um there are some people that do play with people time like that not me I, I ain't one of them I'm not one of them but it took me a nice ass minute to um fix this house um finish up the house but I'm very happy with the way that it looks now um I just wanted it to have that feeling you know when you come into your house you want to have that yeah this is what it is feeling and so I finally have that feeling I didn't have that feeling at first so I worked on it to get that feeling I don't know what this space is it looks like it's like water on the ground but it look creepy that's what I'm gonna say and then they have like the leopard print is this leopard or cheetah somebody did a video on the difference between leopard and cheetah I said you know what the more you damn know the more you know so this space looks like a real like just open chill common area kind of vibe to it i like it more spaces and places to take pictures i really like how they have the land set up i don't know if this is a person or a bot because i don't have my name tags on but she is super pretty regardless of if this is a bot or a person you're very pretty look at this i love the creativity that people use with their avatars because even if this is a bot um there are people who have their avatars that look like that so you know more power to them right love it love it love it